Good morning. Lovely day here in the northern part of Vermont. Supposed to break 50 degrees. February 23rd, 24th, 25th. Well, it's Tuesday, I think. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Uh, watching Dave over to High Carbon Steel. Had a gorgeous uh, Council Tool Boys Axe. And uh, I really liked it. And uh, I decided I was going to order one. Well, when I got to searching for one, like always happens, I found something else. And I wanted one of these too. And it was a pretty favorable price. And the other thing Dave's done, he's got me into these short handles. I absolutely love these 28 inch handles now. What this is, oh that's a nice, nice sheath protect it. It's a broad hatchet. Oh that I I'm impressed. I'm impressed with that. This one came in really sh you could cut yourself. And council is just such a fine made tool for a new tool. And uh, kind of a hewing hatchet. Nice, nice job on the handle. Nice handle. They don't put a lot on them. I will sand that off. I will take that off. But it's, this one is, um, I can't really tell you a lot about a hewing hatchet. Shipbuilders, I believe they were called also. Um, this one is for either side. You could hew either side. And other than buy the boys hatchet, I bought this. Well, Dave, I'm, it's not on a review yet because I haven't used it for anything. I am amazed at how sharp it is right out of the box. Again, this is hardwood. You just saw me open it. I mean that that's that's sharp. I'm gonna use an oil stone on it. I'm not even gonna use the puck. I'm gonna go right to my oil stone and maybe a leather after that. I'm not even gonna use that. And I'm probably going to take the broad ax, they call it, 2.75 pound. And it's, I'm still gonna get a boy's ax. And uh, I'm probably going to invest in one of their Michigan rail splitter splitters not michigan uh, new jersey excuse me anyway you'll be seeing a upcoming video of this when i can get out into the woods more it's just been such a crazy crazy winter here in vermont that i haven't done much but you definitely will be seeing more of that one I can't believe how sharp that is right out of the box. Without a doubt. Well, check out over to High Carbon Steel. Don't really need a shout out from me. He's got a lot of people that follow him. He's got a great channel. But do go over there, check him out. And uh, this is too heavy for actual bushcrafting. But I have a project coming up. And I'm not going to let it out of the bag yet where I'm going to use this. And hopefully the next video will show another axe I'm working on for it. But try to get a little bit closer with this. I'll bring up the leather too because that's a really nice that came with it. It's not that terribly expensive. Well, don't ask my wife. She might argue that. But, um, 
you know, what can I say? I do like that uh, sheath. I did it wrong. That was tight. I didn't go to the handle. I, okay, I see what I did wrong. It goes like that. It crosses. What a well-made product, American-made axe, nice and sharp. Thank you for watching.